Welcome. I am Eric with Mother.com and I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. So today's video is going to be a quick follow up as regards Tesla and as regards a video I did recently. So Tesla today down about 4% and the video, by the way, if you want to understand this video a little bit better, I would suggest watching the prior video. And it is here. I'm going to do my best to remember <laughs> to link this video in the description of this very video. But in case I forget to link it, this is the video you're looking for right here. And that video was done, I believe, was December 29th of 2021. All right. So let's go to this current analysis and a follow up to this video. So if you can watch the prior video and then come back to this video. Now to qualify what I'm going to be saying here is let's put some things in perspective based on the breakout method that I use and I share freely on my channel. So we had been lucky enough to time this prior breakouts. Remember my service is all about breakouts. That's all I've done for 20 years specializing in momentum entry levels now not all breakouts are going to work as we know but at least you want to avail yourself to the probability of these types of moves so all of these moves that i'm highlighting here were breakout alerts sent to paid subscribers and so i want to start there because yesterday i gave another breakout alert for tesla and honestly there was really no choice but to give that alert we ask questions later because any of these now successful breakouts could have failed. This breakout could have failed, but it did not. This breakout could have failed, but it did not. This breakout here could have failed, but it did not. So we see a current breakout as of yesterday. By the way, yesterday was the first trading session for 2022. Today is the second trading session a Tuesday for 2022. So this current breakout could go on to be successful. All I know is that if it sustains and can hold above the breakout level, which is November's monthly closing high. And so the breakout alert was based on 144.76, which is November's monthly closing high. So if it can clear that level, especially given that the RSI is still above 69.1. And to clear confusion where I get this number, I'm going to do my best this year to continue emphasizing where I get this number. And I'm just going to do a quick one. And there's so many ways at arriving at this magic number or nature inspired number or golden mean or the divine proportion or God's ratio, whatever you want to call it. But we can also take, so take RS 38.2%. What we're going to do is we're going to go 1.382 divided by 2. What do you get, students? Thank you. Yes, you get 0. 691 multiply that or put it in percentage terms you get 69.1 percent all right so you can arrive at this number from many ways and i'll keep showing you the various ways to arrive at that number so whenever they you know wells wilder who discovered rsi he obviously decided 30 and 70 were the levels to watch but i i can clarify by my research it is precisely 69.1 and 30 is precisely 30.9 but either way that be that's neither here or there what i'm saying is if it if tesla can hold above rsi 69.1 it could go on a major run and if it can stay above this price level 
Hence the alert that was given to subscribers yesterday. Of course, the MACDs are perfectly where they need to be for a powerful breakout. And I hope you're familiar with that concept. RSI above 69.1. One of the MACDs needs to be at three year high. So Tesla meets a minimum requirements. And we can also consider a future potential breakout if it can clear the current all time weekly closing high. So there's also another future breakout level. And that level is this closing high on a weekly basis, I believe from late October, early November. And the level to watch there for potential future breakout, if it can get there, is one, two, two, two point zero nine. So that's a future breakout to watch. Should it ever get there? Moving above this price would also be seen as a fresh weekly breakout. But now, a follow-up to the recent video. So now, we're seeing Tesla down today. Down, as I said, about 4%. And closed for the day. Now that the market is closed for January 4th, 2022. Now you start wondering whether it is responding on a daily basis to this area here around RSI 61.8. So, just maybe this reversal is coming because of this resistance here, this blue line. Also, if we take the lows here in price, we can see the corresponding RSI level was here. Connect that with some of these lows along the way or most of them, so we can draw a line that connects to as many of those points as possible and extend that line. It's going to look something like that. In fact, let me make that line a little bit thinner so we can see it a little bit better. So let's extend it as such, maybe like that. And you can see what I'm getting at. It seems to me that this line is now also visually being used for uniform activity. The RSI has gone above the line and back below it with what looks like uniform action. So this could be where the resistance is coming from. Now, there's another way also. One more consideration for us to chew on. And it is this line here connecting with this low extend it out all right so what you get is a pullback area and now what i'm using here is what i call the uniformity concept a concept researched by yours truly and i've done my best over the years to explain it to you guys so extend this line what i call the uniformity line any type anytime you have uniform action activity around the line it tends to be giving you insight into a potential reversal here we have rejection which is this top for a good swing trade because ultimately prices did drift lower and now we are tagging it again this also happens to be around that number 61.8 so let me put it another way if tesla is going to break out and continue higher if it's going to be successful, it's going to have to clear these three lines. Yes, there are three lines. So let me draw them again. Three lines. Arrived at for many vantage points. Line number one is this line here, which is around RSI. That line generally represents RSI 61.8. Line number one, ladies and gentlemen. Number two is the line that corresponds with the uniformity concept. This line right here. And we take that line and draw it there. So you got the blue and the black line overlapping. And then we have the other back test line. So three lines, all of which are arriving at the same spot. So we can see clearly a decision is going to have to be made from a swing trade perspective, 
from a multi-month breakout perspective, if there's going to be joy and success to the upside, then the RSI would have to clear the three lines to the upside. There's no other way, no shortcut. Failure, and the more we drift away and below this level, the more this is confirmed as RSI 61.8 rejection, then it suggests that the next meaningful swing trade direction for Tesla is actually down, which also means we can use that monthly breakout level at 144.76 as the line on the sand. If it breaks this and stays below that level, it means that it's time to get out. But at the same time, if it can clear this line, clear this line to the upside and sustain levels above this price and break out above the weekly breakout, it could have a tremendous run. Keep in mind the power of the monthly. The monthly is still above RSI 69.1 and for the most part, for the most part, other than short periods, Tesla has been above 69.1 since the beginning, in fact, since late 2019, when it was trading, oh, at a split adjusted price of 50. All of this tremendous run has come while the RSI, other than these two brief periods, while the RSI was nicely, neatly, aggressively above 69.1. If it works in nature, if it's the building block for nature, then by extension, it should work in the market. Why? Because we are extensions of nature, especially our psychology. So the re-entry, by the way, side note, the re-entry back above 69.1 if you understand this concept, the re-entry back above 69.1 is also an entry strategy. An entry strategy. I am out. And so it is. I am ericwithmother.com and I leave you as I found you. In the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore rejoicing in the power and in the peace of the one creator. Adonai.